everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with a quick um, guest design team project for the Digital Collage Club. And I have used her images in a couple of projects, a Halloween swap. I will list those videos that I use the projects for um, Loaded Envelope. Um, very nice images. And she has a whole website. I'll link that below in the description box. And for this one, I wanted to create these um, little trinket boxes for my daughter, daughters. Um, so I have a 16 year old and 10 year old and um, girls and they like to here's the odd thing here they like to sniff <laughs> they like to be under me and smell like my neck and because they say I smell good okay so um, they'll be like oh mom you smell so good so I was thinking um, instead of just buying them the perfume that I use which would be just way too much money to do that um, for everyone to get the same and I, everybody, who wants to smell like the same person anyway but um, I decided to make these little trinket charms that I found on YouTube I will link her video in the description box very quick and easy and inexpensive DIY and I wanted to make the boxes to go along with it so it'd be nice and um, cute presentation so we're gonna put some boxes together here right after this but I wanted to show you what it looks like so I made the little everything is you know all the box are made from scratch super easy guys so here is what it looks like and then I have a beautiful arrangement of flowers and leaves and it's all sparkly and glittery because I wanted it that way I wanted it to be super super cute and girly and then here are the images that I used um, from the digital collage club um, really really cute I use sweet patisserie I think a French patisserie um, I used on on her so really really nice images and I'm gonna do one more um, like I said one more I'm gonna show you how to do it but I've already put it together um, the domino because you have to put glossy accents on top but this is what that collage looked like I used some Wallacre craft flowers and look how cute it's like sweet and fabulous sweet and incredible is what I was thinking of when I made that and so here's this one they're very similar. I think the leaves are different, um, but I use some of the same items. And then here is um, what it looks like on the inside. I just use a little bit of tissue paper. I'll show you guys when I do the tutorial the items that I that I used. And then I just have some fun little fur, furry stuff down there, cotton. And then I did layer the bottom of the paper of the box as well. You didn't need to, but I did. And then here is the little. Um, DIY that I made so be sure to check out the lady below I can't think of her name because I'm new to her so but here it is and I got these off of Amazon and all it is is open it up and then there's a little piece of leather in there and then I'm going to drop some of the drops on the leather and you know leather holds scent for a very long time and they close this up and then they can wear it around their neck and they can smell it they can smell it all day so um, I thought that was a cute, clever, and inexpensive gift idea for the holiday season or just any any season. Um, I thought that was really, really cute. So um, I would like for you guys to check out the links in the description box. So stay tuned for the tutorial. All right. So what you'll need to complete this quick and easy project is if you're going to do exactly how I'm doing, you want to get your digital images. And again, this is from the Digital Collage Club. And then I, I'm using the Sweet Patisserie. I have these teeny tiny dominoes that I got from the Dollar Tree um, a while ago. I got a couple boxes. They're a dollar. And you can alter them as much as you'd like um, because you get so many. Now, what I did to this, this is how it, this comes out. And actually, I downsized it a little bit more. But um, I just searched rectangle image because I wanted to alter domino. And then I just sized it down. So... This is the size that we're going to alter here. Well, that's the size that I use. Really tiny to fit this teeny tiny domino. And then you'll need some type of uh, adhesive. I'm using um, Fantastic Lays and Glue. You can use um, Glossy Accents, which is very comparable to that. Okay, so a couple more things here to finish out. Of course, you need scissors, glue, tape. I'm using, I need, you need a piece of uh, dimensional foam or pop dot. 
your ink because we're going to stamp a quick sentiment. I'm going to use this um, Close to My Heart, You're the Bomb, Operation Smile stamp set. And I'm using uh, Tuxedo Black Ink from Memento, a scoreboard and score tool. I'm using some Stardust Stickles. And then for my patterned paper, I'm going to use um, this Authentique Adore. It's an older paper collection. You can use, of course, whatever you want. I just thought it was cute. Another option I would have used was the Authentique Collection Infused. So, But I'm going to use the Adore paper here today. And for flowers, get whatever flowers that you have that match your paper that you're going to use. You'll need some leaves. I'm just using two. I got those from Michaels. They're by Recollections. They come in a big box. I'm going to use some flowers from Wild Looker Crafts. These are hip rosebuds. And then I have this pearl spray. Any sprays, anything to make it, you know, fan out and look full. I'm using some cherry blossoms and some tiny millimeter flowers from Wallaker Crafts and then a full pink um, rose again from Recollections that come in the boxes at the Michaels um, in the Michaels store. Alright, so let me move some of these items aside. Make us a little room here. Okay, we're going to first, I'm just going to show you how I did the domino so that we can get that part out of the way. And we can move on because I've already created the domino that I'm going to use for today because it takes a while for it to dry. So you would take your domino, obviously, and then you take your um, your glossy accents or you can use some really good double-sided tape, which works well too. So here's some double-sided tape. And I wouldn't suggest ATG tape, just some good double-sided tape and then I just layer that on top of the part where the the numbers are facing up and then I'm going to uh oh and then I'm going to cut around it evenly or as evenly as I can now the domino is kind of rounded so you can choose to round your edges with a fingernail file or you can leave it rectangle and then you just want to take off this top layer here. All right. And then you want to layer it underneath your domino. Place it on top of, place your, your image on top of the domino. So I did it. I'm going to show you how I did it. I just lift this up so I can get some air uh, light through and see exactly where I want to place it. But you can definitely um, trim down this image so it can match perfectly to the domino but I like to do it that way and I'm using my score tool to make sure it's stuck on there good and I'm just gonna cut around it really easy like this goes by super fast now I like mine rounded I don't like the square look so I just took a little extra time and rounded the edges so you could use an emery board or I just take the back of my scissors and just round off, just scrape the edges, make sure all of the ends are rounded. And look at that. Really easy. Alright, so then you want to do the same thing to the back. I used white paper just so it can just be full. Even though this is white, nobody's going to see it, you're going to use pop dot, but I put white paper on the back of mine just in case you know somebody look on the side but you can't really tell and then the next thing you want to do is take your um, I'm trying to find a piece of scrap paper take your domino I'm going to add just a couple drops or a little line there of the glossy accent or uh, fantastic glaze and I'm using an old um, gift card and I'm I'm getting real if you can't see me but my head is like right in there because I want to get it at an angle I don't want to scrape it I just want to smooth it out I'm using the very light hand of this gift card 
okay and then I'm just smoothing it out now what you also can do is take a little drop and then take some time and then just do this kind of till you get it all in there but you guys know I am pretty impatient so this way works better for me and then I just smooth it out like lightly okay see that didn't take long at all and then look at that isn't it cute so look no bubbles nothing a light a light coat and there's no ripples or nothing if you do get one take a pin and pop it really easy all right so that's it for that if you make a cute little a cute little uh, domino once it gets dry I'm gonna leave that off to the side and then we're gonna pull out the one that's already dry this is the image that we're going to use all right the first thing we want to do is make our box so the um, I wanted to make my just a little trinket box so it's very small you want your paper cut the first sheet cut at five by four and then the second sheet cut at five and a quarter or five and an eighth by four and an eighth that's going to be the top of your box um, so and you want to score at one inch on all the sides of both pieces get a good get a good score because you want your boxes to be nice and crisp and I'm using a Martha Stewart scoreboard and bone folder so we're gonna go to our smaller piece and then again do the same thing score at one inch on all these sides easy enough take your paper and fold it in the opposite direction and take your bone folder opposite direction in which you scored it take your bone folder and give it a good crease on all the sides so this is how the paper was on I scored it like that so I'm gonna flip it over and fold it backwards so that I can get a nice crease and it's going opposite of, of the way you've already scored it to alleviate paper tearing okay so the next thing you want to do is you have your four corners one two three four you want to take your scissors and miter so you want to clip not miter but you want to cut the slits on both sides and flip it and do the same just up into the score mark and then what I do too is um, angle it off because I don't like the top showing so this is how the paper normally is I'm gonna cut off all the angles so starting at this corner and going to the tip we're just gonna make a diagonal cut see all the way around from the outer edge to the inner corner okay so that's what we have and we're going to do the same thing for this one if it's easier for you to do without cutting it first do it that way so. and then go back and cut the slits just up into the score mark Now we can add some glue. I'm just going to add it to just a little bit to these corners and then fold it in, match it up and fold it in. See how that doesn't allow it to have that extra just in case you didn't score exactly on the line or you didn't cut exactly right. That allows you to have a little bit of wiggle room so that it doesn't look messy so all I'm doing is just adding glue you can use if you don't want to use the glue you can use um, of course double sided tape or ATG tape for this part line it up that's done and then we're going to do the same thing to the other box using a low temp heat gun that I got from Michaels also the glue sticks I got from Michaels a lot of people ask 
I don't know, just a normal glue stick, but I don't have any strings. They say I don't have any strings or fiddle with strings. Sometimes if you have that problem, you can let your heat tool warm up a little bit and then grab something to wipe off the excess glue that's on the tip. A lot of time it's just attaching to old glue to the new glue, which makes the glue strings. I don't know. Mine doesn't do that, so I'm excited about that. All right, so the boxes are complete. Look at that. Easy peasy. All right, so let me get the pattern paper. Again, it's the Authentique Collection in a door. Okay, and then I'm going to use that sheet and then this sheet too. And all I'm going to do is add some, um, get the paper for the top. So let me get my, let me get my cutter out here. I'm using the X Cut Precision Guillotine, and I love it. I'm just going to cut off this edge really quick and then I'm going to cut my paper to the good parts. I'm using this good part here. I just wanted to have a little bit of um, that love showing. You know, I mean a little bit of the juicy parts I guess. Alright, so I'm going to cut it down just to fit the top. So, and that should be 3 by 2 is what it should be. So I'm just going to cut my paper down to three inches by two inches. And you'll want two of these. Because I like a little border. Really cute, right? So you'll want one for the bottom and then one for the inside if you want. So do that and come right back. All right, I got my papers cut out. I have three cut out for the top, the bottom, and the inside of the bottom. You could do the top if you want, cut out four of them. And um, they fit perfectly on here. And remember they were um, two by three, so I just cut them an eighth of an inch smaller than that because I wanna have a little bit of a gap on there. So this is for my top piece, just using my ATG gun. And then I'll put this one at the bottom. Just in case they flip it over and look on the bottom and all that. And then in case you don't use anything, you know, uh, type of padding or anything, you want to go ahead and add some paper to the inside. There we go. Done, done, and done. How quickly we're going. All right, and then here are my strips. So it's uh, an eighth of an inch, less than one inch. So the sides are one by three and then one by two. So you can either cut it and meet it exactly or you can cut it an eighth of an inch smaller if you like to have a border like I do. So, oh darn it, I think I did the... Put it on the wrong one. I meant to do the top. That's easy. Easy fix. So I get I'm talking and going too fast. All right. That's that one. And then here, I'm just going to apply a little bit more tape on here. And then apply this to the side. And then get my little fat sides over here all right all done there cute box cute cute box all right so now we want to go ahead and stamp a quick image just a piece of regular white 65 pound weight cardstock from Gina it's Gina K paper and I'm going to use this close to my heart stamp set and I have incredible fabulous we're going to use awesome this time okay set that up there and then I'm going to just tap it a few times in my ink 
and stamp it down here. Cool. Done and done. All right. Put this away for now. And then we're just going to hand cut this image out. Just going to do a little raggedy cut just to get it off the paper. And then we want to get it as close to that as possible. And remember to leave a little space for the tail at the end. Because we're going to wrinkle this or crinkle it a little bit. Alright, and I'm going to cut a little bit down. And then you just make a little fishtail, cutting the paper in the middle and then meeting the corners to it. Awesome! Alright, that's done. Let's give it a little, a little play a little bit. Loosen it up. Okay, so now take your double-sided tape and then add a little bit to the back. I added two layers, so I'm Putting one layer on, I'm going to cut another piece and double that up. So I wanted it to be as high as the flower arrangement that was next to it. Not too much there. All right, that's done. We're going to move that over. So we're going to start out with the leaves. Let me get this stuff. Bring it closer to me. Just take your leaf. And I'm going to add a dot of glue to the tail of one and then put that in a diagonal just like that. So that can adhere and add some glue to the back and that's going to go right there just like that. Hanging off the edge. Love it. There we go. All right, I forgot to mention I used a little bit of lace at the bottom of this. I'm gonna go grab a piece so that I can um, show you guys what it looks like. All right, I'm using some of this lace and it came from Gisela's shop. Um, and Gisela is lavish laces. So I just took a piece off and then I'm gonna fussy cut around that extra material, that sheer material that connects all of these little flower pieces together so it can just look like a you know applique so that's what I have and I have that going the long way or just have that place so it can fan out and then I'm going to take my recollections flower and add hot glue to the bottom just a nice generous amount and then that actually is going to go sit right on top of that little flower there really cute then I'm going to take two of these really tiny rosebuds from Wilder Craft in this really cute maroon color and I'm just going to layer it before I do that I'm going to add my little floral picks here so I take the I don't even know where I got this from guys honestly I can't I don't know they're old I take a couple of the picks off and then I wrap, you know, wrap it around there so it can be nice and sturdy. Just like that. Fan it out a little bit. And I'm going to tuck it, I'm gonna cut it shorter. Okay, wait a minute. Let's get you back on there. There we go. Cut it a little shorter. shorter. I'm adding some glue to the bottom tail and I'm going to stick it right there on the side of that that rose there and I'm going to do it again to some more of these pieces over here so I'm going to do those three twist that to tighten have a little pick and then that's going to go under here, I'm going to add 
shorten it a little bit, add a little glue to the bottom so we can fit in there nicely. Yep, that's where I want it, right there. Okay, now I can add these little roses here. I'm not going to add any glue because I want to make sure they're going to be where I want them to be. I just put opposite, you know, try to spread it out a little bit. Cut off my cherry blossom. And then I think that's going to go, that can go right there. Of course, I'm going to cut the stem a little bit. And then I'm going to use two hip rosebuds. Cut the stem short. I think these can go. I think that can go in here like so. We need to. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to cut this cherry blossom stem pretty much all the way off. And then I'm going to add hot glue to the bottom. And that's going to tuck deep underneath this front flower like that. And then I'm going to add the glue to the bottom of these two burgundy roses and fit those underneath. Oops. Tuck them underneath there. All right. And then I'm going to add some glue to the stem of these rosebuds. Slide them there. Okay. And I'm going to do the other side here. Just fold it up the end instead of cutting it. It'll add some more stability to it. Okay. And that's going to tuck underneath there. All right, let's move that out of the way. Super cute. Okay, so now we want to place our domino. Kind of right there. I'm just placing it lightly until I can figure out where I will. Okay, that works perfectly. All right. I got the little hairs, fibers from the other box flying everywhere. So this awesome is going to tuck right here underneath. I'm going to bend that over so it can have something to attach to. And I'm just kind of using my fingers to create a little uh, ripple. All right, I'm going to add glue to the bottom humps, I guess. There's two of them. And then set it there, right there and there. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue to the strip here of the domino and add that domino right there. Easy peasy. All right, then I'm going to take some shimmer. I'm going to spray this. Um, and then I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to come back and add some stickles. All right, that's all dry. I don't know if you can mm, probably not see the shimmer. Um, so then I'm going to just add my Stardust Stickles around all of the edges of my flowers or wherever I want it to have like a little sparkle. Sometimes it's not the whole flower. Sometimes it's just like the peaks or the edges of the flower. You don't need to do like the whole thing or whatever's sticking out. You just want to touch it, give it a little, give it a little love tap of shimmer. So I'm just doing that to all of the things that are poking out just a little bit. See, I'm not even doing a lot of tap, but it just a little bit goes a long way. It's back on top of here. Look how cute that is. See how fast that is? Seriously, guys, make a bunch of these. Wrap up your gifts in them. 
people will love it. It's handmade, and I'm sure that um, they'll love to see, whoever you give it to will love to see something that's handmade. Please check out the Digital Collage Club to get these shabby chic vintage she does lots of different images um, so you can make your own altered dominoes or even if you don't even have dominoes you can get some chipboard layer it up print off the image and apply the image to the chipboard just the same and then just add your pop dots to that so um, check the links in the description box for everything that I mentioned here before leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think like the video if you like it I will talk to you guys soon bye